So this is a demonstration of Autodesk viewing data API on Cloud9 using a Node server, a Node.js server. So the first thing to use this uh, to do this demonstration is to create a Cloud9 account. I'm using the free level uh, membership and let's create a new workspace. So click here, create a new workspace. The name will be View and Data Monodesk. Uh, it will be public, public because this is the free level uh, membership. And let's select uh, Node.js here and create a workspace. It may take a moment to create this workspace. So let's go to Autodesk Developer, developer.autodesk.com. You also need to create an account here. And let's create the app here. So let's create the app. The app should be viewing data. I'm going to name it Cloud9 Demo using Cloud9 ID. Uh, the callback URL is not used but is required. So let me use the Cloud9 user namespace and let's create the application. As this is an application that is using the web service, uh, this will provide me a client ID and a client secret. So we are going to need this one. So let's go back here to, to Cloud9 and I have my project created. Uh, this project is actually using a, a template and this template is uh, for a uh, chat. So this is using a chat example. And here we have the server running. And also we have the modules that this sample is using and the client that is making this run. Okay, I, I don't need this sample, this is just a chat, we're not going to do a chat here. So let me uh, remove this guy. We don't need this client anymore. This is a chat client, the interface. Let's leave the modules. We are going to use some of those modules. And uh, here we have the command line. So let's install the package that we need. npm view, sorry, install view and data and hit enter and should install. If we open the node modules folder, we see that this view and data is created. <clears throat> this view and data package is actually installed, is, uh, the source code is available on GitHub. So let's go to GitHub developer desk and get the package. See what, what else, what kind of information do we have here? So npm, so view and data. So uh, as usual, npm install view and data. That's what we just did. We had to request the key. We already did that. Uh, we have to replace that on the config and view uh, data or use the, the variables. Uh, I'm not very, uh, I don't really like to replace the information on the original one. I prefer to make a copy of that, of that uh, config view and data. So let's come back here and do this step. So view and data, we have the config file. So that's the point. If we change the file in here, every time we, we update the, the package, this file will also update. So I don't, I don't really like that. So let me uh, copy this one and come back to the root level of my project and paste. So I have a copy of this guy now. This is coming from the package to my, my root folder. Let's open this one. So we have some information here about the consumer key and secret. Uh, and as you can see, the consumer key and secret or client, client ID and client secret is coming from the environment variables. But uh, I, we can also copy and paste this information here. So let me copy from here. You can use either. You can, you, you can set as an uh, environment variable or you can uh, uh, leave like this. On your project. So I prefer this way so you don't have to worry about that again. So we have a copy of that file. Okay, so that's that's this step. And uh, we have to set up a bucket key for, for our project. So the, the, the original or the full name is this. So let me rename to my name. So that's just to avoid uh, uh, duplicated names. And the next step is to okay, copy the file like we just did. And there is an install package available. And the, the good point about this install package is that uh, we'll, of course, test the, 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 the API and make an upload of a test in DWF, which is a sample that we can use to test our API. We don't have to create a model, we can just use this test in one. So 
let's come back here to viewing data. We have this test module that is, uh, you can also see here this test.js. Let's open this guy. Uh, and the only problem here is that this configuration is using the, uh, the, the different information here. It's not the one that we just created. So let's, uh, let's replace this uh, configuration here. And let me, me replace this and point to the original one instead. So instead of typing the name here, let me use the one we just copied here. It's not the, it's not the one inside the package, but the one we copied. That's why we are using coming back three levels so to, to come back to the root. So now we have the, these tests uh, ready to go. Okay, so let's go to this folder. CD view and oh, data. CD uh, test. Now we are on the, this test folder. Let's make sure this file is saved. Okay, save it. And let's save this one too. Make sure the key is updated. So I'm just pressing uh, save, which can be the, the uh, I'm, I'm using a Mac, so Command S or Control S on Windows to make sure these files are, are saved. And we can say npm test that will run this uh, testing routine here, that is the test.js. Hit enter. We can see that it's running. Should be running. Let's see what I did wrong. And, oh yeah, sorry. We need to install the package. We have, we have to always look at these steps. So I'm missing one package, missing uh, this step install because to run this test, we, ha we need some modules to run the test, of course. So le let me call first npm install. It's always good to have some problems that way we can debug the problem. So npm install to install the package we need to run the test. And now we can say npm test and should work now. Oh yeah, it's working. No, it's not. So I think it's complaining about the consumer key and secret. So let me just remove this one to avoid using the wrong version. And let's try again. NPM test. So yeah, so this time I forgot to save this one. And uh, NPM test. Yeah, so I, I had this bucket already, so that's why I have to create a new name for my bucket. And now it's uploading the file with a different bucket name. So uh, this name must be unique, that's why we need to change. And, and as I used this name before, that's why it's throwing that problem on the test. But let's go back here and see the results. So we make the test. And the, good, the interesting point is that we have now the URN of the file we just created. So this is the file we, up, we, uploaded, to, we uploaded to the viewing data. And uh, uh, this, this is the, the name of that file, the test file that we have on the viewing data server. So let me copy this guy, so make sure we have this one here. And okay, so now let's, let's start our project. So this is the, let me create this one here just to make sure we have The developer the URN so let me keep a copy of that guy so let me come back let's come back to the server and uh, so as I said this is the uh, uh, default that is using uh, to create uh, this the node.js server actually we don't need all of this 
So let me uh, remove most of what we have here. Instead, uh, actually, instead of typing everything again, let me just copy uh, a ready version. So this is basically replacing most of what is already here. And I'm using the express package, the HTTP, and the path package. And I'm creating the application, creating the server, rerouting, uh, creating an API to reroute all the, the API calls and uh, the uh, www calls will be redirected and the API calls will also be redirected and create the, the server and start at, at this port. Uh, just, just hit pause and, and examine this code a little bit better, but this is just uh, regular node code. So you see you have a, a www uh, folder and also an API folder. So let's create those two folders here. New folder www folder which will contain the, the HTML pages and also an API folder sorry a routes folder so this is different from the user so the user cannot track that information so routes and in, in, inside the routes we are going to have the, uh, the, actual, the actual API that is running so let me create a new file for this if you just hit new file there is not coming with the template but as this is a JS file, no problem. So let me create a new file and that will be api.js. Let's open this guy. Now we have uh, the API that will actually do something here. Again, instead of typing the whole thing, let me copy what I already have. Sorry, not this. And let's try again. Um, edit and paste. Okay, so now we have the file. Uh, this is getting the LMV viewing data. And also I'm requesting the config viewing data file that we have here. And uh, this is creating the same uh, bucket. Let me rename this instead of changing the name of the bucket. And let's create a new uh, LMV. Uh, by the way, LMV is the, just, just a, a internal technical name for viewing data. So it's large model viewer. So it's just a fancy name. Create an express. And the Express uh, will route the get calls for refresh token. And this will then uh, call LMV and LMV get token. So this is the authentication you need to do to access the model. So we have to get the token from out of there so we can show the models. So that's the get token. Okay, that should be it. Let's go back to the uh, www folder and create a new file from template. We don't want to type everything anymore html file so this this is the file that we need so let's save and i'm naming is this the index.html and save okay so title 3d web with autodesk view and data so you don't have to to type the whole thing here so let me come back to the forge to the developer autodesk we have the api so we have view and data let me open this <clears throat> so we can examine the documentation. So here we have all the documentation about the viewing data, uh, some steps that I'm showing, some other steps. Let's come here to the step-by-step. -step. We did all those steps with the testing code. We just load the URN using the JavaScript viewer. So let's click here. We need the uh, CSS. So that's the first thing. Let me copy this and place right here. So this is getting the CSS that, that is needed to show the viewer. And come back here again and get the JavaScript. Let 
me come back and get the JavaScript right here. And uh, let's create a script block and come back and say, okay, we need a uh, initialize function that is right here. So let me copy this and come back right here. You see, it's using a different URN. That's not the URN that we have. So let me get back that URN that of the file we uploaded. It's the same that is available right here that we uploaded. Let me copy this and place right here. So this should show my model. Uh, so let's come back to this to the to the documentation. We have this get token. Note this is somehow uh, hard coded, but here we have a, a working version of that. So let me copy this and place it should be right here so it's getting somehow uh, it's unformatted so let's come back and do a code formatting HTML should be should look nicer <clears throat> so uh, this is calling this uh, 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 root here but in fact our in our code we have API dot uh, slash refresh token see it so it's API refresh token so let's come back to the HTML API refresh token, and on our case, we're not sure, we're not returning a JSON output. We are just uh, uh, returning the, the token itself. So no need to pass this 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 return because our code is a little bit different. So let's change it a little bit. So come back here. We have the function load that is also needed. So we have the, to the function load. This load is being called from right here, from the initialize. So that's the, the final piece. Uh, let me format again. So we have a good good looking code. And okay, so I did. I just missed this piece, and it should be right here. And uh, code formatting HTML. Oh yeah, it's looking nice now. Copy and paste very carefully. And uh, we need a div that will show our model. So let me copy this and come back right here at the end of the body. Okay, just a small correction. Oh, not this one. Let me put the script before the body. So that should be better. So body showing this. The only thing that we're missing is this uh, on load. To show to actually run this JavaScript code, otherwise, it will not run. If you have a jQuery, for instance, you can do it in jQuery, but uh, I'm using the pure HTML and no, comp no, no external libraries, just the Autodesk library. Remove some extra spaces, save this one, and that should be it. Uh, let's come here to this server and run this server should be running okay debug listening and we have to wait for the server starters okay now we have the server running let's open and see what we have so 3d web with Autodesk viewing data and should load our model and that's the testing model so I'm not doing any JavaScript just the basic one very quick uh, uh, not a lot of code, we're just copying the code we have on the uh, documentation.